New Maine biomedical engineer graduates are expanding their line of lobster skin care. They say between their research in labs, their own personal experience treating eczema, and user testimonials, they already knew the power of glycoprotein in lobsters that has a regenerating property. Yeah, that's right. And now they say they have a clinical study to back that up. And just three years into launching their product, it seems to be flying off the shelves. Amanda Hill has the story. We first met Patrick Breeding and Amber Boudiette in 2020 at the start of their lobster skincare journey. To protect the health of skin. Then again in July of 2022. What's happened in the last year and a half since we've talked with you guys? Year and a half ago. <laughs> A lot. A year and a half ago. <laughs> a lot. Okay. Marin, which started in a humane lab while the two worked with scientist Dr. Bob Bayer, then evolved in their kitchen, is now selling out. We probably have seven to eight times more inventory in our warehouse. We are processing triple the amount of lobster glycoproteins every season to prepare for the next season because lobstering is a seasonal business. They've changed the packaging to a Grundon orange and have added a new line, lip treatment. We're about to sell out of our cream, our mini cream, and our blueberry French toast lip treatment, and probably in January we'll sell out of the unscented. Their online reviews explain the hype from Marin Saved Me to can't wait to show my dermatologist. And now a clinical study, Breeding says, backs up what they've known for three years. Within um, instant, instant use, almost 80% of the people noticed a dramatic reduction in mm -hmm. symptoms and within four weeks, 90 to 97% from dryness, flaking, redness, inflammation, irritation, being able to sleep at night. Breeding says being able to now make the claim that this is clinically studied for eczema allows them to, quote, compete with the big boys in retail shops. And they've just started their retail climb, landing displays in L.L. Bean's home and flagship stores. This was the dream. Yeah. What is it like to see? Surreal. And when the product can't speak for itself, Boudiette's personal struggle with eczema does. We used it after we cleared her eczema on her face. Which I had chronically for most of my life, and I used steroids, lotions for years. I was just living like that. Now let's get Yeah. In the next year, the two have plans to expand their product line, including new scents and main focused collaborations for the lip treatment. But even with the growth for as long as they can, the studying and the lab work will continue to be done in house, and the glycoproteins will continue continue to come from Maine lobsters already being processed through Luke's Lobster. I'd say we learned a lot of those standards in engineering school at UMaine and kind of built the whole process from the ground up, literally doing it in our kitchen and in our partners' kitchens. Um, and we were able to apply a lot of that as we've scaled and, and increased the throughput of our process and introduced more team members and brought them on to do the processing with us. It's a good thing we were engineers. Engineers turned entrepreneurs growing a business that's all Maine. In Portland, Amanda Hill, New Center, Maine. So cool. Very now, exciting. Patrick and Amber actually met as freshmen at UMaine. So at this point, they're a well oiled machine. But he says he bought her a care package from the LL Bean checkout aisle back in 2020, including a mug with a note that said someday they would be there. He said that coffee mug helped them manifest their way into the right circle to be in the retail giant just three years later.